teaching you how to auction flip. Uh, this is going to be a pretty brief guide. I'm planning to make a advanced guide uh, later, but today I'm just going to briefly go over the basics of auction flipping. Uh, and I make 60 mil an hour from auction flipping, which is far more than any good money making methods. As you can see, uh, I just flipped a ton of pet, uh, pets and stuff, and I have 105 million coins to uh, claim. So yeah, I got my, some of my first back. Uh, I am like way richer than I look, by the way. Like I have an inner dragon pet, and I also have one on auction, and still some stuff haven't sold yet. But <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to age flip. So the thing about auction flipping is that you have to like mainly you have to know like what to flip and like which items you can flip. So uh, I see a lot of people flipping armor. Uh, now you can um, flip armor, but like it's not really easy to flip. Like the margins are kind of hard to flip because you have one. I uh, like I try flipping shadow assassin chest plates a lot, but like the margins are small. Like five star chest plate, five star chest plate, it's the same cost. And almost any armor that uh, is it for a good deal has already been bought from like an auction sniper mod. So uh, if you flip armor, you could try it, but like I honestly don't recommend flipping armor over regular items. Um, I probably like one one hundredth of the coins I made is from flipping armor. Uh, so I don't recommend that. So uh, first type of flipping I'm gonna be showing is weapons flipping. Uh, for weapons, uh, it depends on what game stage you're in. Uh, early game, I recommend flipping uh, Reaper Fashion. Well, I guess more mid game. For really early game, uh, aspect of the dragons would actually be pretty good because it's pretty cheap. And you have to know what to flip though. Like, it's. Uh, let me see, can I get a good flip here? I don't usually flip Aspect of the Dragons, so I don't, I'm not actually that really experiments with this. But I think you could flip this for 100,000 coins, as you can see here. Two star and two star. Uh, might be able to flip, flip that four star one for like some, like this is five star. Uh, so I think I can actually flip this five star Aspect of the Dragons. Um, if you're like, uh, no, actually, I don't think I can do this. Uh, yeah, well, as I heard, did heard that access as dragons is pretty good. I don't really have a lot of experience living this, so it's not really my area of expertise. I heard if you like, you can. It's a good item to like bid on. I don't mind this so much. Uh, if you like bin flipping, I honestly don't really like bin flipping that much because so much people do it. The profit margins become too small. So, uh, when you have a little more coins, though, I do know some good flips. Like, Reaper Falchions, I loved flipping them when I was, like, four. Uh, they're pretty easy to flip. I'm actually going to be seeing Kai flip one. Also, it can be recombobulated. No, recombobulated ones are way too high in price right now. So, I'm actually going to be flipping uh, Falchions. So, Reaper Falchion, uh, the Fabled before is pretty desirable. So, usually, those go for a lot. However... Uh, unfortunately, there's not actually going one going for this much now. Like it looks like I'm not getting any flips, but like the reason I can still make so much money is I have a lot of items I flip. So if there's not one item that I can't flip, uh, then uh, I can still flip other items and uh, make a lot of money from those. So I'm actually seeing kind of like this. Fortunately, it doesn't look like Reaper Falcons can be flipped either. Uh, no good flips right now, unfortunately, but uh, there's definitely going to be a flip sometime. Uh, now, once you get enough money, weathered five troops are really good. Always flip specific reforges. Like it, it's kind of hard to flip regular five troops. Regular five troops. You have to like see like so much clean ones until you see like actual stuff. Always flip the one with the most desirable reforge. Uh, so you can search it up what's the best reforge, but usually the most desirable reforge is going to be the easiest one to flip. Uh, I actually might be able to flip this for six hundred thousand coins profit here. Uh, so I'm actually going to be doing this for the sake of this video. Uh, actually, it's going to be like, like 400,000 coins. I mean, I can put it for 8.2 mil. I know, actually. So it's going to be like 600,000 coins for it. And uh, like two days isn't enough if you're... Uh, yeah, don't always just put it for lowest buy now. That's the mistake people make. You really don't need to. Like, just put it for a little longer and you're going to... It's going to sell. Okay. It's going to sell no matter what. 
I mean, usually at least, so you really don't need to put it for low. Now, there's none, no good be commodity ones. There often is, um, but there isn't any right now. Now, the next one I would like, I like flipping is Fable Liva Daggers. Uh, these are pretty good flips, but the, uh, they're kind of overpriced right now because of the dungeon XP buff. One for, uh, yeah, there's just like way too much of those being sold. Nine mil, nine. Uh, actually, I think I can flip this. So I'm going to be buying this because prices are worth more. And then I'm going to be putting it for uh, 9.99 mil. And then I just like putting 120 hours. It, it costs us like 10k more, and it's a pretty good amount of time. Usually, on my auction sale, rarely items don't sell. So, and I haven't put this in a while, but closing price are also pretty good. I'm gonna see if I put one of these. Uh, usually, you want to look for the five star ones that aren't going for regular prices. Uh, oh, yeah, and I should have like mentioned this, but like when you're flipping any item, you generally want to look for like like compare stars. Like, if there's a four star one, I'm gonna go back to the four star one going for less than. Uh, those by now, uh, then you want to like flip that. Like, let's see, is there any good stuff? Well, basically, uh, here's a five star liver dagger, and let's say the next one was like uh, 11 mil, there's one for 10 mil. But if the next one was for 11 mil, then I would buy this one and put it for 11 mil. That's basically kind of how flipping works. And uh, after you flip an item for a while, then you get used to the prices and stuff. Uh, and you can flip it a lot better. Now, also Shadow Fairies, I like flipping some too, but there's usually yeah, there's not any good flips. Like it's just kind of overpriced right now. I think uh, the Dayless Axes more late game because they're pretty expensive. But yeah, so you have to have a lot of items to flip. That's one thing because then if there's no items, good deals for one, then you have to be able to do it for the other. Uh, now the next. Uh, Section I like flipping is talismans. Talismans, uh, like you could flip regular talismans, but the thing is, um, like weapons, the reason why they're so good for flipping is because they have a lot of diversity, which means somebody could easily put their weapon for like, like for example, this livid dagger. Uh, I think it's worth about thirty mil. Um, uh, I bought it for like fourteen mil because somebody put it for like the same as a five star regular. Livid Dagger when it had Swarm 5 and it's fuming and hot potato book and has a lot of rare enchants. So that's kind of the kind of thing you want to look for. Like if a five star Fable Livid Dagger is going for the price of a regular Fable Livid Dagger. But uh, so like Talismans, I'm not, I don't really like flipping those type of Talismans. I like flipping the combined ones. But there looks like there's no good flips. Sometimes these do drop to eight mil, and I buy them. And these drop to like nine mil, and I buy them, and I sell them for more. Uh, I actually have like a candy, but it's not auction right now here. I hope that sells. Well. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like any of these are especially good flips. Uh, maybe legendary. Also, um, epic talismans are decent flips, but. Uh, I'm going to be showing you, basically, you should probably just flip the Combobbiated Talismans. Because regular Talismans, it's like, you're, you're not going to really get any good flips. Uh, uh, maybe I should buy this Speed Artifact. Well, yeah, I don't think there's any good flips for Epic right now. Uh, I flip a lot of items, so it looks like I'm making not making anything, but I can easily make a lot. This from the show number of items I flip. Now the next section I like flipping is pets. And if you look at my auction history, 90% of the money I make is from pets. So I have Bella in my hair and it shows me all the good pets uh, from like highest uh, cost. So a lot of times I just use this. But one of my favorite pets to flip is a baby Yeti. And um, when flipping pets, you always... Dang, these are way more expensive than they usually are. I want to look for like highest level and then like second highest level of that type. Let me show you. So this baby level, yeah, these going for level 91 is going for 15.9 mil. Oh, so you make 100k profit, which isn't even, but like, just like an example. If this, let's say this was 15.9 mil and this was uh, 17 mil, then you could buy this and put it for the price of this and then it would sell. But yeah, there's no good deals. Let me look at Legendary real quick. Maybe I don't really want to flip Baby Yetis right now because like they're like five mil above average price right now. And like 
why is the level 100 one going for like almost 50 now? So I'm actually not going to be playing with baby yetis. I like flipping traveling zoo pets a lot. Uh, like look at the amount of elephants I have. I did some investing in those and bought a ton of those. Uh, I actually might be able to flip this level 76 one. It has an epic farming XP boost. So uh, this one's always 16.5 mil. Should I flip this? I mean, it's 16 mil. Uh, is is it worth it? Oh wait, level 97 for 17. But basically, you want to look for like how low level. Let's look at how much the next level 97 is. And the Lex level is 97. Oh, I think this is actually a really good clip. So the Lex level 97 is going to be. Oh, that was. There's no next level 97 for level 100. So, uh, I think I actually might be buying this. This is pretty high level. Not a single pet candy. Uh, so I'm actually going to buy this. And I'm not going to be selling it yet. Because traveling zoo was yesterday. So elephant prices are lower than they usually are. But I'm going to be selling it soon. Like I'm, I have griffins in my inventory. And oh yeah, I also have clipping griffin pets. Uh, they're pretty good because like for some reason a lot of people think a lot of 80 griffin pet is worth the same oh dang i'm actually gonna i think i'm gonna buy both of those griffin pets why are griffins so low right now this has turtle shaman turtle shaman is always a pretty good item uh because it adds like one mil to your oh oh no 194 that is pretty high level so now i'm going to be looking at the next level 94 griffin pet uh, I think it's going to be the level 96 one. No, wait, here's one. It's 96. Well, I'm not actually, I think I'm going to buy this because, uh, Griffin Pets now, I don't know why Griffin Pets are so low right now, but, like, level 94 is, like, really high. So, let's buy that, and, uh, I'm going to sell it once prices go up. All rarity Griffin Pets are pretty good to flip. One now. Now, uh, if you want to, like, I, I usually don't do this flip, but I'm just going to, like, show you it for the sake of this video. And then I can put this for 5.79 mil. It's, like, not really worth my time to do it usually, but I just wanted to show you because, like, the, the reason I did this price was because, uh, after, like, yeah, it's just like it's the lowest after. So if it's like the lowest where it's low right now, which is pretty. What happened to Griffin prices? These usually go for two mil. Uh, well, maybe I should do some investing actually because I don't know why they're so low right now. Are there any good Griffin pets? Well, Griffin pets in general are pretty good flips. Like I, I always manage to buy level eighty Griffin pets for the price of a level one. Uh, and I'm going to be checking on the next traveling zoo pets. This is a tiger, 18.4 mil. They were 15 mil a few days ago, but, like, it's been a while since the last traveling zoo. So I'm probably not going to be investing in tigers. Lions are also overpriced. Uh, giraffe. Oh, yeah, I spelled that wrong. Uh, I think I'm just, yeah, did these, I don't know when the next traveling zoo, but, uh, all the traveling zoo pets are, like, Five million coins above, which is one of the reasons I bought so many elephants. Uh, but yeah, these are really overpriced. Uh, I'm gonna be taking a look at Blaze, and I also like flipping Inner Dragons, but it's gonna be kind of hard to demonstrate an actual flip with the current purse. Uh, so it doesn't look like there's any way that that could actually work, except. Uh, I mean, I could do this. So if I bought this, right? Okay, and then, I mean, I this is probably going to sell soon. So I'm going to be putting this for... Uh, I'll put it for 10.99 mil because that's kind of overpriced. 10.99 mil. Uh, this one is actually kind of unsure, so I'm going to be putting it for longer than my order. Uh, so yeah, in general, if you just want to put it, don't just put it for lowest buy now. That's not smart. Put it for something you think it's going to go for. And I do think this can go for more. So yeah, 
So I guess I should be giving some more helpful tips. Uh, like in general for fucking pets, look for a second lowest level and like pet items. Dwarven turtle shaman always adds, adds pretty good amount of to the value. But also I like flipping squids. I flipped like several squids this week. Uh, squid no not fix. Uh, legendary squid. Except there might not be anything good to flip. Uh. Yeah, it's like it just goes straight to sixteen point five mil. Uh, and also I should probably should have said this a lot earlier. Phoenix pets were good for um, if you're like earlier game. I like the legendaries ones. Uh, Phoenix pets, they're pretty good flips. I made like a few million on them. They have pretty like stable prices. I mean, like basically they go from like a certain price. Like I think it's like three million coins, and then they go up to five million coins. So I like. I actually have a ton of epic phoenix pets in the chest I think that I bought at like 3 million coins and I'm going to sell them out like, I don't know why I still haven't sold them, I just forget about them, but a lot of epic phoenix pets, I also have a lot of legendary ones, phoenix pets are one of my favorite pets to flip, so yeah, uh, and the final pet I'm going to be showing you is the ender dragon pet, now a lot of you guys might not have enough first to do this, but literally it's like worth it to liquidate like all your network to flip the inner dragon pet because they make like 10 million coins per flip so uh yeah inner dragon pets don't look like i i don't i couldn't i physically couldn't flip one uh if i wanted to right now because i don't have enough purse because i'm already flipping inner dragon pets uh yeah legendaries aren't really good to flip epic ones are pretty good now i got this dragon pet for 210 mil and they're already at 225 mil uh, i'm probably going to wait for them to go up to like 240 mil before selling it but yeah, uh, Inner Dragon Pets, pretty good flips. If you can, then definitely try. Now, um, to like end the video, I'm going to go over armor flipping. Uh, it's like, it's not really good. I like flipping Shadow Assassin Leggings. It's not really good. Like, don't, honestly, I don't know why. It's, it's not really a good idea to do this. But yeah, it's not really easy to flip because low, mar low like, priority. Wait, this one has last 10 5. Uh, oh, wait, I can actually flip this, except I don't. Shadow Assassin helmet prices aren't this expensive anymore. Uh, that's regular. Sweet Mill, that's not that overpriced. I mean, okay, sh should I do this? Uh, well, you know what? I'm not gonna do this because I'm kind of sure dungeon item prices are like really high, especially with commodity ones, so I'm not gonna risk it. But this, I mean, yeah, fine, fine, I'll do it. So, uh, I'm gonna put it for 11.99 mil. That was kind of a risky flip though, because, uh, I'm not sure it's really gonna do it, but basically look for like for any gear really, just look for like high the ultimate enchant and look for the next ultimate enchant of that type that you can flip. So like one for all, spawn five, soul eater five, those are pretty easy to flip. Uh yeah, is there anything else that's worth flipping? I don't think I really like flipping anything else. Uh Yeti Swords, so I went over that. Uh, except, like, I don't even think I have, why did I type Yeti Sword? <laughs> Yeti Sword, I don't even have enough, and of course Yeti Sword are going for uh, more than they used to go. Well, um, yeah, I'm not even sure how much I made in this video. I usually make a lot more, but like the demonstration part and stuff like that kind of took a while. So, uh, yeah, that's probably going to be it for this video, guys. Also, like, Dolphin Pets, something like that. Uh, because, yeah, there's, oh wait, level 81, right, but then, 86, so if you know, that's 1.5 mil level average, uh, usually, like, don't get scammed, though, like, let's say, let's say 100, 127 mil, that means that, to get to level 100, you need, uh, it costs is 16 mil, but level 80 is 20% of the way, so 1.5 mil, 
I think that's a pretty good deal, so I'm going to be flipping this pet. I'm going to be putting it for uh, 15.49 mil because my dolphin pet is not as good as the one that is like a little higher. I mean, this have lost up souvenir. That's but still, uh, yeah, so guys, that concludes this video pretty much. I will be going into more depth about exactly how to do these flips, but this was kind of just like a video to show you like how to flip, and do feel free to like flip a lot of the items I flipped are pretty good, and soon you'll be able to obtain full lapis armor and uh, undead sword.